Hey guys, Mike here. Uh, I know y'all probably want to see the Oldsmobile and stuff, but I had to get this done. This is a stand for some metal cabinets. A friend of mine wanted me to make for them. And uh, it took a little longer. I got about three and a half hours in this. Just because uh, he brought me a whole bunch of old bed rails. And... You know, every corner had to be cleaned. You know, they're not perfectly square because they're aftermarket metal. I mean, you know, that's the metal that they use for, you know, oh, it's a little bit crooked. We'll just repurpose it to bed rail. Um, but here it is. The cabinets will sit right here on top where it's V'd. And he'll have a nice little shelf underneath it. I was going to put a second shelf in there, but it's going to only leave like four inches in between the shelves and you can't in a shop situation you can't can't utilize that space but uh i'm gonna get back on that oldsmobile here in a little bit and just have this the beginning part of this video because i got to get a video up some people want to see them so if you want to see more welding videos please like comment and subscribe thank you guys i'm out here working on this oldsmobile I'm trying to get it ready. Uh, just removed the old oil sander. It was leaking profusely. And then the oil sander's down in there. So, being a one guy cameraman, it's kind of hard to record. But I got me a new oil sander. And then uh, I got that the other day. And what I'm going to do today is I'm going to come down here and I'm going to put a fuel filter right off that hard line coming out of the tank and I'm gonna dump some fresh gas in the tank and some B12 chem tool and we'll see if I can't get this thing to run off its own tank uh, I'm putting the other fuel filter there is because I don't want to suck a whole bunch of crap up into the uh, carburetor I know the carburetor has a fuel filter but just a little bit of extra protection goes a long way and we'll see if we can't get this thing uh, running off its own gas tank today i'm gonna go get a couple more gallons of gas and dump in there with that old gas and that chem tool and we'll give it a shot we'll see what happens so after i get this oil cinder in here and get back from the parts store we'll tinker with it some more oh yeah um i got it off the trailer yesterday that was a big now i can work on it so it's sitting here just i can bathe it better um, I can see if the transmission is actually going to go into gear. I still have to find two tires for it. Both driver's side tires are flat. Um, but here you go, guys. This is what it looks like off the trailer. You can see how straight it is. And I do have that other wheel cover. But let's see if we can't get this old Oldsmobile running off its own tank today. All right, I'll be back with you. Okay guys, Mike here again, and uh, I got a fuel filter put on there, don't laugh at me, I did leave the gas line long on purpose, I will cut it short when the time comes, but as you can see, that gas is just as clear as it can be, so somebody must have put some Stayville or something in that tank, um, I did dump in about three gallons of fresh, um, I did get the old cinder changed, no more leaks there, uh, Sprayed down this air conditioner compressor with a little bit of oil because it's squeaking. And look at this thing. I dumped some transmission fluid in it. In the transmission, it seems like it's going into gear. Uh, look, I'm going to go ahead and fire it off for you and let y'all listen to it run after 27 years. Look at that. It's just running. It's running on its own gas. It's trying to charge that old battery up. But I didn't have to jump it this time. That's a plus. Uh, I might have to get in there with the dwell meter and check the points. Make sure they're set right. But it's idling. Uh, 
my next step on the thing is to change the oil engine oil and uh, put a fresh oil change in it, let it run some more, uh, see if I can't foresee any more problems. But it runs on its own. Now the brake light is on on the dash because I got the emergency brake instead. But I'm gonna put it in reverse. I know y'all can't see that, but it did just go into reverse. And that's neat, it has a seatbelt buzzer it goes off when you put it in the drive. Uh, but look at that dash. I'm telling you, not even a crack. So this thing was garage capped since it was new. The factory. Radio works. I don't know about the cigarette ladder. We'll see about to see if that works. Glove compartment closes. It still needs a lot of cleaning up. This thing had telescope and steering wheel. The horn works. According to the odometer, I think that might be 121. I don't think it's two. There you go. Headliner has those two holes in it. So, anyway, I'm about done playing today. I gotta get me something to eat. And if y'all like these, please, you know what to do. Continue to watch and continue to like and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.